Okay, so guys, tonight we're going to talk about the TP-XXL. Not just the bag, we've already reviewed the bag itself when we got it as a new bag. We may have a few more things to say now, but this is a loadout video, which everybody loves a loadout video, right? We get to look at more tools. So here's, this bag is the only one so far, this and occasionally the Tech MCT that I have that I actually have had to put the strap on because this thing is heavy when I have it full like this. So, still perfecting this loadout. Obviously, it's only been a few weeks of having this bag. But, since having a lot of work in hotels lately, this is set up a little differently than what my TPXL was, and there are different things in here that I'd had before. Uh, one thing I'll say up front right now, I am using both meter bags as meter bags. I just moved them into here from the MCT. Probably going to just stick with the clamp meter though. I'm seeing if I ever actually use the other one, the regular electrical meter. If I don't, that's coming out and something else is going in. But all right, let's get started here on the outside of the bag like we usually do. I have my glove clip right here on the top, which is on every bag I have. I usually have me a pair of Mechanics soft gloves on there. The other side, I have my little flame sensor cleaner right here. It's a little red deal uh, full of brushes. We've got my little Stabila keychain there on the end. Those are cool. But my actual little level I use a lot is still this one for my Vito bags. It's the Stabila Pocket Pro Magnetic right there. It's got the magnet on, and an L shape on it on down one side in the bottom and it even has the groove in the magnet so if you put this on a metal pipe or something like that it will still sit flat on a metal pipe and actually hold well enough to not tip really handy when you're installing outlet boxes uh, little runs of steel conduit or anything like that just just great if you're hanging a little picture whatever stick it on there it's a great little level it's about what i like on my veto bags and they give you these metal hook, tape measure hooks, I guess they're called. These fit great on those, but they have one there, one on the flap, and I believe one right here as well. But man, to hang something out here on the front, I, I can't imagine actually doing that, but it does look nice, I guess. So here on the side of the bag, I have my con voltage contact tester. I just, this, have one of these just to see, even if you have the power off, run this over what you're working on and just be sure. I've had some very old houses that have had some nasty surprises a few times in my life. So be sure. Then uh, Sharpie, have to have a Sharpie or uh, the Milwaukee Ink Zolls are usually even better than the Sharpies, like Sharpie Extremes. And then my little pins are the Sharpie S gels. I keep those on here now. Those are those are nice little pins. A little Sharpie S gel. That's actually popped out and won't go back in. And then I have a Sharpie Pro here in red. And a lot of times that's uh, one that I use for marking on electrical tape or something like that. I carry the different colors of it, which I think I wrought. Well, I put them back on here. So you've got multiple colors of electrical tape. So you can use your Sharpies or whatever right on these and label things well, you know, if you have multiple wires in a thermostat or anything like that, just pull off little pieces, pinch them, right on there what color or number that wire is, and, and it makes life a lot easier. I added some uh, conduit lock nut wrenches right here. They're just little gardener benders, but these are actually super handy uh, when you get in a box and you find yourself getting in a spot where you just end up taking a flathead screwdriver and tightening them down or putting it on one side and having to tap it with a hammer to get it to turn, whatever, you know what I mean. We all make do when we make do. But I grabbed a set of these. I'll see if I can find a link to some of these, but they're just Gardner Bender LNW 1000s. And it's a little three pack that are double ended. So they fit pretty well all the sizes. It's kind of great. Then, of course, my Pika pencils here on the end, Pika, Pika, uh, something like that. These are the number 3030, just the normal automatic pencil here. And then the big carpenter's pencil, the Pika Big Dry. Those are great for lumber, sheetrock, whatever you're writing on like that. This is more trim stuff or like a regular pencil almost. Those are cool because they actually have a sharpener here in the bottom. The leads just advance with a click on the top. They're just great. The little sleeve for these stays in your pocket. So all you do is just reach down and pull your pen in and out. 
And y'all know how I'm a fan of not pulling clips on and off my pants all the time. It just wears things out. So having the ability to just do that, fantastic. So ready to get inside this thing? Oh wait, no we're not. We're gonna do the sides. We got meters on this thing, of course. But let's start over here. That way we can get it right here. I'm gonna just pop this right out of the way. See, that's nice. If you need to grab your tape or whatever, I put these little S-beaners on here. They're just little night eyes S-beaners. And uh, you can just clip them on and off your bag instantly and get rid of stuff that might be banging around in your way. We're gonna go ahead and eliminate this as well. Now, this outside pouch here, all I keep in here right now is my little anchor power deal. And this is one of them that's wireless. So like if you have a, uh, an iPhone here with the new wireless charging stuff on it, or an Android that's apparently had this forever. Thanks a lot, guys. This will snap on like that. And just like that, my phone's charging. So, and it'll just hang on my phone, whatever I do. So really nice for both my AirPods, my phone, whatever, has a nice feel to it and just charges with USB-C. You can just turn it on right there. You can see the little lights come on and show it's fully charged right there. So great little setup. I don't hardly use um, my plug-in charge thing for my phone anyway because my port's always dirty and all that crap. So if I can just stick it on a wireless charger, it's fantastic. No, none of that to worry about. But in here, we'll have my first meter side. Let's open this up. We can actually see what this looks like. See right here? My one of my favorite meters right here, the Fluke 324 Plus. This one's right in here. Just just great. Has most of the things you need right in it. And it fits right in there with a little Stabila level. So if you need a little bit larger Stabila level, this one is magnetic as well. Has a couple of good strong ones right here in the bottom. And that's that's the level that I'm keeping, you know, in there. So anyway, those two fit in there. And in the top, I have my fluke silicone leads and these are the ones that will take attachments on them so you're not just stuck you know with one with one type but see that those two fit in there perfectly they don't even press on the zipper it's great plenty of room in there and i think that may be all the meters that i end up sticking with on this bag as i really think that's probably about all i need on most of my calls otherwise i can walk back to the truck for another one now to go to this end now i discovered something really cool because you all know we're a big fan of the Vera bit check deals, the tool check bit check deals. So on the TP4B that I was using before, I had seen a video where you take off the little screwdriver on the end and take the actual mounts for it off and it makes it a little bit shorter. And then you can put it in the front pouch of the TP4B, perfect little fit. These right here, where I have my power thing on the other side, you have another one here. In here, I have moved my Vera Tool Check Plus. Oh, and I had that unlocked. How about that? So I have the Vera Tool Check Plus right here, and this is my metric version. It has a little ratchet, all that stuff. You can see a video about that here on my channel. Just look up this one. If I remember, I'll put a link on here, but otherwise, just look this up. Loads of awesome bits on these. You just pop that, and you have two rows of, of all kinds of great bits your drivers, your everything. Sockets, all of it's right here. This goes really well with that one I reviewed the other day with the little Zyklop quarter inch. All of these fit that Zyklop. So if you buy the metric Zyklop set, you can just add the Imperial tool check and you'll have almost everything else that you need for that and, and have just all in a couple of packages there. But I thought this was cool. I've removed the little short screwdriver that comes on this set from the end of this pack to do this. And you do have to cut those little pieces, so you cannot just put it back. You just, that's fantastic to me. It's already, you know, wide bag here anyway, so it's not sticking out much worse. So let's open this up. This is a fantastic little tool here. This is the Fluke ST120 Plus socket tester. And this is the one with the toner on it. So if you put this in a socket and the power is on to it, and you leave this switch to tone, this will make a nice loud tone that you can usually hear all the way to the breaker panel in most houses. So big time saver if you're doing that kind of thing, plus very nice clear lights on here to show you exactly what all the functions are of it, and a GFCI test button as well. So 
These are great when you're going in on home inspector lists that you're supposed to update and do all that kind of stuff, and they've listed things like you have a reverse polarity plug somewhere in the house. You can go around, punch this in, and it'll tell you as soon as you find that reverse polarity or you know improper wiring, no ground, all that good stuff with just that deal right there. Then I, can, I have a set of the twist guard silicone leads from Fluke. These are maybe around 40 bucks or so, and I think Lowe's even has them now. But those are great. And in here is my Fluke 117 True RMS multimeter, and that is one of my main meters as well. These two have been my main thing. This thing has a nice little kickstand on it where you can set it up on your table and see what you're doing. Uh, just a lot more electrical functions where the other one is a lot more, you know, HVAC type stuff and all that, but it has the basics. So in here too, I keep a set in this little scrunchy bag in the top. That's where I have my alligator, uh, snap-on alligator leads that go with the other set of leads for this. There are more pouches back in here, but I haven't wanted to just jam this thing completely to the gills. So putting this right back in here, they everything fits very comfortably on this bag. That is one thing they've done very, very well. You have a lot of room. I don't feel cramped anymore whatsoever. Good and bad, I guess. Because you, you could easily decide to completely overload this bag. But I put that little uh, outlet tester right in the top here. And it's made it where I can just get to that quickly without having to actually even open the pouch all the way. So ready to see what I've got in here? Let's check it out. There you go. Up top in the un unimpressive stuff, we have... Um, Loads of different kinds of wire nuts, and I just throw a handful of each size in there because this is a go bag. I'm not just setting up and doing a bunch of something all day. So there are jumpers in here, multicolored jumpers. There's a handful of different size plastic shims. Um, lots of little stuff like that. There's a handful of different size electrical screws, 832s, quarter 20s, all that little stuff to have in there. So now that we're inside, one big thing, if you notice, one big thing that I wasn't able to have in my other, in my TPXL, not without taking up an inordinate amount of space, is my little Milwaukee Surge. This little Milwaukee Surge is, is kind of my go-to driver these days because it's so small and so quiet. When I'm working in a hotel or something, you don't hear this loud impact running in and out on stuff. And I have used this thing absolutely every day. It, it is well worn. Still working very well. It, it worked today, hanging some TVs. Um, just a great little unit, and with the small battery on it here, I can just drop it right down inside the bag, and it, and it doesn't, it doesn't really even stick out. It doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of my tool space. So, getting in here, in this part of the bag, I also keep my other wear a tool check, this is the Tool Check Plus, and you can see on this one you have the little driver here on the end. I haven't taken it off of this one because I don't need to. But this is all Imperial stuff, and then, of course, a lot of the same uh, driver bits. But it's in such a small, compact package that it just... These pockets that are right down here in the TPXL in the middle, the little spandexy ones, they hold it perfectly. So that's right there. Then, moving up, I went ahead and added a lot of my bigger Knipex stuff to this bag. I've got a pair of 10-inch Knipex Cobras here, along with a 10-inch pair of Knipex Cobras with the, the thin jaws there on the front, if you can see the difference. You've got the normal Cobras on there and then the, the narrow jaw right here. So, great little setup to have to cover a little bit of bases. And then here on the side, just hanging by one leg, I have... Another little pair of Knipex Cobras, and these are the 125s. They're, you know, obviously, compared to a 10-inch, you can see how small that is. I mean, these are absolute baby ones. But they're not the smallest, because right in the front, my unique little tools, I keep the baby Cobras, the new ones they just came out with. These are just, these are just straight-up cool little pliers right there. So, then, I also went ahead and, I mean, these are some of my number one used tools, if you can tell. I mean, these things, these are well-worn pliers wrenches, but these are the Knipex 10-inch pliers wrenches, and they go up to a two-inch size of pipe. So you get the usefulness of a, an adjustable wrench, but with the ability to actually 
adjust it as you go without having the, the little threaded thing come out on it. It slowly walks down. Uh, it gets looser every time you turn the bolt kind of a thing. This stays the same size all the time because you're locked into a setting on here. These are just fantastic. Having two of these is great. You can hold things without damaging them. You know, if you're if you're working on a fastener like a shower head or something like that and you're worried about actually marring the finish with something like a Cobra that bites into the metal, then a pliers wrench is pretty well where it's at. If you put these on there, it's going to have that nice clean... Uh, feel to it and not have teeth on it but still have the bite to not round off corners and all that great tools if you haven't bought those i highly recommend getting a couple pair of 10 inch cobras a couple pair of 10 inch uh, pliers wrenches as you can even just one of each to get going for a little while i know they're expensive tools but those will you will love those i i don't know anybody that doesn't so <laughs> Let me know down below if you don't like pliers wrenches. I'd be really curious to know what you're using instead that works that well. Then this is the pair that actually can come out of the bag now that I've added these gardener benders over here. This is a little channel lock conduit nut tool that I picked up a long time ago. It's been around for a minute, but kind of handy. Then we have a pair of scissors. Got to have a pair of scissors for literally everything. You know how that goes. Fisker scissors, they're pretty nice. Fisker's titanium nitrides, just good little scissors. Then of course, jab saw, little Linux jab saw. These are great because they fold. Your, your jab saw actually folds out. You can set it in multiple spots. You can change the blade and it actually accepts just normal sawzall type blades or reciprocating saw blades. So you can put any of those in here that you want, which is really nice if you need to cut metal or something like that and you don't have a way to run your normal uh, battery tool. This will get it done like that for you. So nice little tool to add in there. Of course, over here on the side, couple of thermostat ones. These are the Weeha Pico, Pico Finish Electrics. Just really nice little set there of thermostat drivers. Then I've actually picked these up from the Vera Special Edition Canada sets. If Tim's watching this, yeah. <laughs> I need to send you one of their bottle openers for Canada. But yeah, the Canadian sets that they that Vera came out with got a number two Phillips and a number two square drive there on those. And this is my favorite screwdriver here for outlet plates. It just fits the, the screws that are in those perfectly, so I keep it in there. It's a Wera 335.8 by four by 100. Just a really nice narrow laser tip with, uh, you know, for the extra bite on that. Great little driver. Highly recommend one of those. If you just get one that size, it's great for getting into a lot of stuff. And then I like my two Vera demo drivers, just two different sizes of flathead, and they're both demo. You know, they have the through drive with the steel cap, so you can actually smack these good with a hammer and not damage anything. Up here, and they're, they're hanging in this so I can grab them right out. These are the Knipex Electrician scissors. Extremely sharp little scissors, and they have quite the little cutting design right there at the back end where you can really get through some thick cable or you can get it around it to strip insulation really fast. They're just awesome for a lot of stuff. And they come with this great little sheath that they actually snap into and holds really well. So you can get it right up in there. Um, across the top here, I have my Malcos, the little Malco reversible quarter and 5 16 drivers. You just flip the tip here and you can switch from quarter to 5 16 I've got, well, this is a Festool one, but it's basically the same thing as the Vera Rap Adapters for holding your little bits for your impact or whatever. This is an impact rated one here. And then, of course, several of the of nut setters, all different sizes of nut setters up here and some various other small bits and pieces. This bag does have the nice hook in the top here where you can hang it on the side of an AC unit. Uh, whatever, wherever you're working, you can hang it up on your workbench or something to keep it up off the floor if you're in a nasty environment. You know me, I like to keep my tools clean. I know some of y'all do too. Not all, I get that comment occasionally. Then I keep me a little bitty whisk broom. This thing is, I don't even know where I got it. It's probably not even worth a dollar. But when you need it, sweep out an outlet box, a uh, whatever a panel any of that it's great for that 
along with an Irwin scratch all right here. Right here in the side, these have great pockets on each side. So I used each side for my Vera Allen wrenches. And I've got the metrics on this side in this kit. And then this one over here, this is the Imperial set of Allen keys from Vera. And they are the ball end. So if you're getting into spots that are tight, you can't get your wrench straight or whatever, it will still get a good bite on the fastener and works really well. In front of these, and they're a little tight in that one, uh, I have me a little bitty punch. I've run into some locks that I needed this for at a hotel. So I just stuck me one little punch right in there. An inks all, of course, got them all over the place. Down in here, the Milwaukee Rover USB rechargeable light. This is a great little light, extremely bright, if you can tell. It'll blow out the camera. There you go. But two settings, high, low, and it just recharges right there on the side with USB micro. So you can recharge this off the little battery pack here in the, here in the bag or just keep the cable in your truck and you're good. The other side, I've got a little Milwaukee AAA battery flashlight here. And just, I like having one that I can, I don't, it's not rechargeable. As well as here in the front is a Titan Plus, a Surefire Titan Plus. And this is a, this is a neat little, neat little flashlight as well. Just a single AAA battery here. I'm not sure if this one's one or two, but great little lights. I really like my little Surefires. They're, they're fantastic. That's the headlamps I use and everything are Surefire. So that light there, fantastic. Then... We're into the V-Swap section. This is where they have the V-Swap panel in the front. And this is where I have my new Knipex step cuts for cutting wires and cables and things like that. Great little tool. I like to get these plastic dipped handles for these that go here in my bag because it really cuts down on the size of the tool compared to the big comfort grips. They just, it's, it's just that much smaller. And when I'm trying to get a lot of things in a bag, it works. So, pair of Knipex Vanaden Super, and they're just, you know, really nice needle nose pliers here. Knipex 26-200, so 200 on those. And then, my Knipex Electrician pliers, my originals that I still love, and my Knipex Cobolts. Uh, there'll be a video out on this. It may have come out before this one, but this these cobolts are absolutely awesome to keep in your bag. They keep you from making a mistake and cutting something that you shouldn't cut with these because you can damage these shearing action blades that are made for copper and soft metal where if you get into a bolt or if you get into steel wire or something like that, the cobolts will just make short order of it. They're basically small bolt cutters. They're just... They're just fantastic. So I just have a little lineup of those Knipex tools across the front, some of the most used ones. Then here in the very front, little door stop. These are great. I don't even, I think that's just from Lowe's. Might be a 3M door stop, just solid rubber, flexible, all that. Great when you're working, you don't want a door hitting you every time you go in and out, or they got those automatic spring doors everywhere in the commercial buildings. Then a little Klein. Yeah, some of you Klein people out there are like this. Vera still doesn't have, that I have been able to get yet anyway, a ratcheting stubby. So this is my main ratcheting stubby here, and it's a Klein. It is a reversible version, and it has multi-bits in it as well. It's got a little square one, square two there, and then what looks like a quarter-inch drive. The other end is a really... Uh, a 3 16 flathead and a Phillips number two with a 5 16 nut driver. So that that's a super handy little tool. When you get into really tight spots, you can get a lot of mileage out of one that size. So I got that in there. And then there's my little, I got a little Phillips on there. A little magnetic bit holder from Vera. This is off one of the tool checks. That lives down there. And then the Z tool. This is a quarter and 5 16 also. But this little Z tool you can get into some tight spots with that bad boy. It's basically like having a bit only size, but with enough leverage to actually get a nut started. So you can get it into some tight spots and then you have you know, a two or three inch handle there to work it off of the other end. And you can just flip it around any way you want, get the 5 16 up there, the quarter, whatever you want. It's just great little tool. Had that for a while. I think that's called a Z tool, I guess, because it looks like a Z if you want it to. So anyway, that one, and then in that same pouch, 
I have a little battery holder off of Amazon. They're cheap or free, almost. Edison Bright or some, some cheap brand that they won't make anymore, but just get one that holds the 123A batteries. This is great for my headlamp batteries. That's, that's what it's for. So that's what's in here. And then here, right here in the middle, I have a two-prong to a grounded plug. Just, these are like a buck at the, you know, a Dollar Tree or whatever dollar store. And great to have if you ever end up working in an older home and you're not there for electrical repairs, but you need to charge your batteries, you need to charge your phone, whatever, and they have no grounded outlets, have one of these in your bag. It can make a difference in a day. So, anyway, that's what I'm keeping in my TPXL. I have one other thing to show you guys. If you made it this far in the video, we have stickers for the channel now. If you go to our new website, which is millisconstruction.tv, I have these posted on there, and I think, I don't know what how much they are, but they're, they're a couple bucks for one of these, and I'll send you one right out, uh, and it, they're, they're kind of cool little stickers. You'll, you'll see this little uh, guy down here at the bottom. And some of these have the same hat right here that I have, but I also have ones coming that have our sign logo on them. And those will be the ones that I'll send out to most. Um, I didn't want to bother KC with that. Somehow the designer accidentally printed the wrong sticker on these, but that's what they're going to look like. And uh, if you message me for one of these, if you have a YouTube channel or something and you put stickers up in there, I'll be more than happy to just send you one out. Hit me up on Instagram. You can jump on there, Millis underscore construction. You can send me a message right through my account there and I'll get it and I'll try to get you a sticker out if possible. Um, love to have y'all get one up there, but check out the website if you want if you want one without contacting me or you want to just order whatever you want to order, I'll have them on there. There'll be other stuff coming in the future too, but trying to work on some of that branding and all that good stuff for you guys. There are some tool recommendations over there, some links as well. There'll be affiliate links down below to a lot of these tools that we looked at today, but this is what I've been using every day since I bought this bag. Hopefully it'll help you guys with some tool decisions of your own. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me today, and we'll see you on the next one.